Hello everyone and welcome back to um the welcome back to um the third installment in my uh machoke catch comboing adventure. They were at like about thirty, I think just over thirty catch combos. Um So yeah, basically we are half shiny hunting, half power leveling. Um, today, and the other day. Oh, well, that was a bad time. <clears throat> okay, well, it, it's really good, because I can usually catch most of my jokes on first of all, if I throw it good without them, like, punching it away and everything. Catch combo of two, what the heck? My catch combo go away whenever I save and close it? What? Oh, come on, man. So I had like a 30 catch combo. <clears throat> and then when I like log out, uh, the catch combo just goes away. What? What? Why? I don't have three hours to catch combo, dude. That's bad. Hopefully I can uh, catch them a bit faster now. To make my um, <coughs> time, my uh, catch count boat that got erased back up. <coughs> Don't want you, no. <coughs> That's frustrating, guys. Just I'm gonna warn you guys if you log out in the middle of a catch combo, you lose it. Goodness. Okay, I got a great throw that time. I'm just worried because I'm really broke right now. Like, I have like only a couple thousand Pokeballs. Which means we might have to beat the league before we can go back to catch combo. Oh, no, no, not you, Machoke. I don't want to Machop. I want to Machoke. Mostly because the shiny is way more obvious, like with the Machoke. Like, it's bright green instead of just, like, swamp green, really. If I can get an excellent throw on this guy, I can get a couple thousand, like, XP just from this one Machop, or Machoke. I always get this maxed up. I, I, I get that line mixed up because it's, it's like so different and everything. Yes, I got a thousand XP just from that. Roost. Very good move. Gonna get rid of it from ag agility. Because I have a speed raising nature. And I find that I outspeed most things and just... I don't really have the time to... Really... Agility... In that game. It'll also be good if it's a last resort against it. 
Basically, my goal is to beat the Elite Four without a single Pokemon fainting, because I have no meds whatsoever. Like, just none. Like, nothing. No, no medicine. No potions, no... Like... Yes! Oh, no! I got the double spawn, and then I went down the ladder. Dang. Dang it. And now, of course, an Onyx spawns. I mean, at least I know I'm catch comboing now, because I'm getting my rare spawns back. Come on, I just want a green machoke. Just give me a green machoke and then, then we can just be done with this whole thing. Just give me a green machoke and we can go just beat the league and then we can find Mewtwo and then continue catch comboing and just catching a lot of Pokemon and leveling up my machoke, my green machoke. That I can evolve because I I don't have anyone to evolve it with. But um, but later if um, I really hope Art Legends Arceus connects to Pokemon Home because then I can transfer it over to Arceus and use that special item to evolve it. And if I don't find a shiny in my current playthrough, oh, this is like I'm in quite the drought of never mind. <laughs> Um, this, this is so weird, like, oh man, I caught it, let's go. Let's see, also, like, when I'm done, I can just feed a bajillion, uh, mighty candies to Zeppi, and... Zeppi will be able to Oko just about every Pokemon of the first Elite Four because his attack will be so good. And Zippy Zap goes first always. And pretty much all of her Pokemon are water, ice, or water type. She's not the ice type, she's, she's the water type, really. Like, she has a slow bro. A Slowbro. Slowbro is not ice type. Slowbro is water psychic. I can't really complain too much because Zeppi can still probably Oko it. Once it's high enough level and has enough mighty candies, I don't have to really worry about speed um, that much. Level 60, Glacier, let's go. That means that I don't have to worry about... Oh, what's his name? Um, this supposed to be champion or the fourth member of the Elite Four on this game. Lance. I don't have to worry about his Dragonite anymore because I have a quad super effective level of 60 Pokemon. So basically, I level and I'm quad super effective. So I will probably be able to get to that just fine. My gosh! I'm only at 40 Ultra Balls left, which is very bad. I'm gonna have to probably go back to the League Sell all my normal Pokeballs just so I can buy a bunch of Ultra Balls. You caught him a choke. Once I run out of Pokeballs, if I don't have a shiny yet, I'll just go fight the league. Probably beat them and use the money I get from beating the league to get more Pokeballs. Catch combo more Machokes. Right in the noggin. Just right in the noggin, let's go. <clears throat> Apparently a noggin shot does not boost your chances for 
actually catching um, Machokes. Uh, just gonna just gonna put that information out there. Don't make this make uh, mistake I did and waste an Ultra Ball. Uh, noggin shots do not help. Okay. Caught him a choke. Very small amount of XP points. But I think I'm about at the spot where I can probably beat the league. I just... I'm not sure I want to yet. I think we'll do this uh, sort of episode as catch comboing. And then maybe next episode we'll fight the league. And then probably go back to catch comboing. Because... I really want to shiny. This is, like, if I get a shiny in this game, I want it to be a shiny Machoke or Machop. Because uh, I have a history with them. Or one specific m tiny little, tiny little, bad, gre badly colored green. Like, very, I don't like the color green that Macho Machop is. Machop's green isn't that really good. Not, no, it's not. Isn't that good? It's it's quite bad looking. Like I don't like the look of it. Why is there no spawns anymore? I would like to get to at least catch combo twenty this episode, so I can get to like catch combo forty next episode. Um. Because once I get a 30 catch combo and then a 40 catch combo, hopefully I'll have a shiny by then. Hopefully. And I know I'll be able to beat the league by then. It, like, basically, if I have a high catch combo and no shiny, uh, I will probably continue catch comboing. But if, however, I do not, I will probably... Uh, ha if I have a shiny, I will beat the league. If I do um, not have a shiny, I'll probably keep catch comboing, like I said before. It's confusing, because I don't want to lose my catch combo, but I don't want to, like, just not beat the league. Why is this, like... so hard to hit this thing. Like, my Pokeballs are just going, flying way higher and way faster than I threw them with my Joy-Con. Okay. So my chops are hard. Like, my chokes, it's, like, quite hard to, like, take care of these things. Like, they seem to be quite tough. To catch. Okay, I'm at 11. And I'm not even halfway through my recording episode. That would be a Hitman Lee. I don't. Well, I mean, I know I'm getting high in the catch combo now because I'm getting Hitman Lee's. And Hitman Chan's. Another Hitman Lee. Oh my gosh. For those of you who get bored easily, don't recommend catch comboing or shiny hunting at all. Um, it's very boring. And I don't know if it's worth it or not at the end, because I haven't experienced that yet, but... It gets boring, gets costly in the game. This Machoke does not want to get in my balls! And just throw Ultra Balls at it, and it just doesn't want to stay, finally. You know, it doesn't really matter. You're all going be sent to the... Uh, you're going to be sent to the Professor, anyway. I'm not going to keep any of you but the shiny one I get. That is a Rhyhorn. Or, Rhydon. It's a Rhydon. I don't want the Rhydon. That's a hit 
Mon Lee. I don't want to hit Mon Lee. That is also not really what I want. I want the green one of you. My goal was to get this uh, whole catch combo thing done in four catch combo episodes and then beat the league. Um, we'll have like, a shiny one in my box. But I guess that is less feasible than I thought. And also, nothing seems to want to spawn on my screen anymore. Like, seriously, nothing is just not, no. They don't want to spawn. Finally. Why can't the it's huge thing say it's shiny or I want to see sparkles. I want sparkles. That was almost an excellent. Um, just a tip, if you want to catch combo for XP, you probably want to do a mid-range mid Pokemon. If you want to catch combo for a shiny, probably want the highest level, uh, not the highest level. Like, if you want XP, you want the highest level, but you probably want to find a good mid-range. Because, like, hard to catch versus a lot of XP, you need the, the ratio needs to be... Good. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm gonna nana bury this guy. The circle moves slower too. I did not know that. That's very interesting. If you nana bury, the circle actually moves slower than if you don't. Like that circle, the colored circle that says, if you got an excellent or whatever, type, throw. That is very interesting. I saw you spawn. I'm just gonna Nana Bear because I have a couple of them. Because now I can get excellent throws, basically. Easy catches with a lot of XP. That would be a hit one lead that I don't want. Don't want either of you. The only way I'm going to catch something that's not a Hitmon, up uh, not a Hitmon, a Machoke, Machoke, is if it's shiny. But I prefer that the first shiny I find is a Machoke or a Machop. Why aren't you green? <laughs> Thing I don't get about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is like the trainers are like five to ten levels, that was a lot of XP, ahead of all the wild Pokemon nearby. Like these are like low 40s, but especially late four, they're like 50s. They're like ten levels ahead of these wild Pokemon. They're in an entirely new area, but 10 level difference is quite a bit 
for it, because these are the Pokemon that you're going to be able to catch combo to train up easiest. And you can't really do that. And you can't really try and find a rare spawn that you want that you need to use for the Elite Four or the trainer battle or whatever with this, because it's just harder to like you have to touch combo to catch it. And then you then have to catch combo to like you know, like level it up enough. Just wait till it's very close. I love Nana Bears in this game. They're so much more useful than Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go, they just, like, don't move quite as much. This is so much more useful. Just like, look at that. I can get, like, 2,000 almost every time. Hey, Glacier, learn Hurricane already. Come on. Okay, put it back in the bag. Nothing here. Let's head down. Anything here? No, just like nothing here. N nothing wants to spawn. Okay. Okay, I guess. I guess so. It is definitely very. Uh, it's hard. Let's go makes it harder to catch combo because, like in other games, where if you just run around, eventually something will spawn. Like, you know, if you just, like, do this in circles all the time, something will spawn. But, if you want to catch a lot of Pokemon in Let's Go, you have to walk around and trying to avoid the goal pet. Guess that was impossible. So I'll just run from it. No one's gonna spawn, climb up. That would be a ride on, not something I'm interested in. <clears throat> nope. Don't want to catch this thing. Where's spawner? No, I'm on a mission. Hitmon, please just leave me alone. Just leave me alone, Hitmon Lee. I just I don't care. I don't want anything to do with you. No. Why? Bye. I don't I don't like this is the downfall of catch comboing to high numbers. It's like just not like it's hard to get the right Pokemon because you're high level, and there, and that increases the chances for three things: increases XP yield by a bit, increases the chances for. A increases the chances for the um, rare spawns in the area to spawn, which is why I'm seeing so many Hitmons. Um, and it increases the shiny chances, which is why I'm catch comforting but choke specifically. Catch combo 19. I'm gonna get over 20. That's No, why? I'd be at like 40 by now if I could get just only Machooks to spawn. Apparently, Hitmonlees want to be my friend. Just like the Hitmons just really want to be my friend, even though I don't want to be theirs. 
I don't like the Hitmons, unless they're supremely under over leveled and I have like an ice or steel type thing that I really need to do. They don't have anything else, anything else to deal with. I'm not gonna use a Hitmon. I'd rather use a Machoke. When the stat level is only in the mid 400s, maybe. Rather use it than the Hitmons. I just don't like the Hitmons. I, I, I really never have. There we go, we've reached our 20 gold. Catch 20 gold. And while I do think we could probably take on the league now and probably win, I don't want to abandon all hope of give, getting a shiny yet. That's a Machoke, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. Get back here! Completely forgot. Nana, better go! Oh, I didn't get an excellent. I should have waited like three seconds. Okay, still caught it. Still got a good bit of XP. Success with that, straight throw, technique bonus, combo size, size bonus. Like, it's just a lot of... A lot of XP when you catch combo quite a bit. The only Pokemon that I would mildly want to see a uh, shiny of in here would probably be a boot bun boot Brown Graveler. If I had to get any other shiny besides a Machoke or Machop. Probably want to poop bound graveler. Don't ask me why, I don't really know. It's just, I don't know. It would probably be the next best thing. Another crit for it. I should really time these better. Learn to time them better. I'm just more used to the non nana berry thing. Which is definitely a downside, but. Still. Getting quite a bit of those. Everyone's above 55, which means I'm pretty sure it wants to learn Mega Horn. Yeah, no, don't learn that. It's 85% accurate. And a bug type move. I don't need a bug type move. I definitely don't want an 85 accuracy one. Like, seriously. Gosh, I keep forgetting about Nanabs. It's... I don't know, man. Definitely want to stock up on Nanabs if you can. Um, before we come out here. For the fact that I don't know where, if there's a guaranteed way to get Nanabs. So I just run around in areas and like forests and wait for your po Pokemon that walks beside you to say, Ooh, look! I see something. Nope. Oh, I only have one Ultra Ball left. We'll catch this one, and uh, we will... Oh, no, I have ten. Okay. This is not the end of the episode, though then. Ooh, perfect. Like, right there. That was a perfect throw right there. Perfect. Perfecto. And they got another level up. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use my shiny on my final team. I just don't... I'm not able to. I just... I don't have... It's way too underleveled. If I get a shiny Machoke, it's going to be too underleveled, and the stat total is not going to be high enough for me really to use it. And I think since uh, this has been going on for a while, uh, this is going to be the last Machoke that I catch. Unless I see a shiny, um, before I close it off. 
um, that. Thank you for watching. If you made it out of the way over here. Well, we're at it. I'm just going to add a little question at the end. Oh, that was a lot of candies. What is your favorite Kanto shiny? Like, what is the, your favorite shiny that you can get in here? Mine is, obviously. Machamp, or Machoke, I guess, because Machamp isn't... I can get Machamp in here, but I have to trade. So, what Pokemon, like, evolution line is your favorite shiny? Well, that would definitely be Machoke for me. Machoke. Machop, Machoke line. With that, I'm going to leave you guys off. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. It's free, and you can really change your mind anytime. See you guys tomorrow with another catch comboing video.